Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about water treatment. We're going to find out where most of our drinking water comes from in the UK and how it's treated in order to make it safe to drink. So first of all, whenever you hear the phrase potable water, it means drinking water. And what we're going to see is in the UK there are three main ways that we can get our potable water. Number one is surface water. Now all this means is water which is found or can be gathered from lakes, rivers and reservoirs. Reservoirs. Um, now in the summer months in England and Wales in particular, some of, these, uh, some of this surface water can actually dry up and be scarce. So we need to have other places to get it as well. So the second source is groundwater. Now this is normally, we're talking about aquifers. Now what an aquifer is, is basically just water which is stored under the ground within rock. So it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's where we can get that from in case our surface water is dried up in summer months. We can also get water which is called wastewater. Now, a lot of industrial processes might have water which um, will we'll need treatment, but essentially it could be, for example, as a byproduct from an industrial process. So these are the three main places where our potable water comes from in the UK. Now all of these, the water needs to be treated first. It needs to be kind of clean and safe to drink. So in order to do that, there are three different steps we need to know about. The first step is filtration. So we get this water from these sources and first of all, we pass it through filters. Now this removes a lot of the kind of large insoluble solids. So removes a lot of insoluble solids. So twigs, gravel, whatever might be in the water gets removed um, by the filtration process. What happens next is a process called sedimentation. Sedimentation. Okay, so what sedimentation is is forming a sediment and in order to do that so there's the water here and there's the sediment at the bottom in order to do that you need to add iron sulfate or aluminium sulfate now what these two substances can do is they allow they clump fine particles together So we add iron sulfate or aluminium sulfate, they react with fine particles within the water and it forms this sediment at the bottom. So we've now removed the larger insoluble things and the smaller particles as well. Now, there might be some nasty microorganisms in here that can cause us some harm. So we need to then undergo chlorination. So all that you do with chlorination is chlorine is bubbled through the solution, oh, sorry, the water. Chlorine is bubbled through the water. By doing this, it kills harmful microorganisms. So now we've taken this water from one of these sources, we've treated it, and it's now safe to drink. Now, in other places, not in the UK, for example, somewhere like Kuwait or Saudi Arabia, where there's not much of these options available, um, particularly surface water and groundwater because it's really, really hot and dry, they might use distillation instead. So they might get salty water from the sea, which obviously you can't, it's not safe to drink by itself, but then you heat it up, um, the water turns to a gas, it goes through here into the condenser, which is nice and cold, and then the uh, condenser allows the steam to turn back into liquid water and then we have our potable water here. So if you want to learn more about distillation, please watch the video uh, titled D uh, Distillation. Now the final thing that we're going to talk about is deionized water. Because in lots of chemical experiments in laboratories, we need water um, to be able to use. However, 
In normal potable water, we have different mineral ions such as copper, such as uh, copper, calcium, and iron. Um, so, deionized water is really, really important to remove to remove all of these different ions because if we have them in a laboratory, they could cause unwanted reactions. So it's really important to remove them. So when we have um, when we have chemical reactions in the lab, we don't have any unwanted reactions. And that is the basics of water treatment. Thanks for listening.